Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Income. Today is Tuesday, September 27th. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. Uh, higher trade in these gray markets, actually a huge reversal into the soybean market today after being down about 11 cents earlier on, hit a new low price count that we haven't seen in a while, uh, and then actually found uh, caught some bids for some buyers there, closing up six cents on the day. That kind of brought everything else with it as well. Corn closing up two and a half cents higher. Uh, wheat markets anywhere from five to eight cents higher. No real fundamental news behind it just looked like some buyers wanted to come into this market maybe manage money uh, easing off the selling pressure a little bit here so some strength into these markets you did not see that situation into the meats actually aggressively selling off later into the day live cattle closing limit lower of three bucks feeders uh, limit lower on their November contract other contracts only down about three and a half bucks and then hogs actually sold off after cattle uh, and closed down about two bucks lower on the day so uh, in the red for these meats it looks like they're fast uh, they're quickly approaching these lows that we haven't seen here for about a couple weeks uh, and then you know not much further from there is all-time lows if you want to break that as well uh, outside markets didn't do a whole lot a little bit of a weaker crude market otherwise nothing else was really going on uh, news is very very limited right now it looks like as far as those grains go they're kind of waiting until Friday to get the quarterly stocks report that'll be a, a little bit of a big deal there uh, mostly because that solidifies the old crop carryout I know I announced that yesterday as well but that does solidify that old crop carryout so once you get those numbers you know that's what the carry-in will be for next year's and you'll be able to get a little bit of a better idea offer some surprise especially in these soybean markets as they've cut old crop carry out drastically the last three or four reports and uh, soybean says the demand has been so strong there and it'll be interesting to see what's actually left over uh, after all that demand has come into soybeans you've had uh, pretty poor inspections here on beans uh, um, lately but that's a lot of new crop beans not so much old crop so we'll have a pretty uh, good idea after Friday moving forward what we might see out of the new uh, USDA crop report to give us new crop carryouts there and then people are already pointing at the fact that you might see uh, USDA come in here and increase yields on soybeans just because yields have been so strong uh, it looks like harvest is still chugging along we have some dry weather here and then it starts to get a little bit warmer as well uh, it looks like a, a nice four-day window to really get harvesting done and then after that it looks like you could uh, have some rain systems moving forward i do have to close with a disclaimer trading features and options of all risk loss may not be suitable for all producers have a great day